How is it going? Hello. Um, I'm in London. I'm not at home. So I do apologise if this vlog is not up to me normal technical standards because we're just doing it on himself's phone. Anyway, I have to tell you, so much fabulous things have happened. On Friday, I was on the It Takes Two with Zoe, which was just so lovely. And I got to meet the Kirsty, the Anton, the Brendan, the Katie, the, um, the Helen and the, um, the Aliash, yes. And they were all so nice. And Helen and Kirsty were talking in makeup and they didn't know I was there. And they were talking about Daniel. Apparently he's in Lanzarote. And they were talking about him with such warmth and love and fondness. And it was, it was lovely. And they all seemed to get on really, really, really well. And, um, and I really, really liked them all. And, and I was so sorry then last night when, when Kirsty went. So anyway, and then on the Saturday, it all happened very much la last minute um, getting the tickets for the live show. And I nearly feckin' died because something like four and a half million people have applied for tickets. And so I got given two. And so himself didn't go, but my friend Ginny came, Ginny the Australian, who I've known for 30 years, because she is a really good friend. Um, she's the goodest person I know. She is the most obliging, kind person. And she never lets me thank her in, in uh, how would you call them, in orthodox ways. Like She doesn't like flowers and she barely drinks. And she'd be sort of appalled at the waste of money. But she loves dancing, dancing, and and she like adores the show. So like th this was the best thing ever. So we went, and you have to get there hours before. Like some people had been there from two in the morning, and I'm not making that up. And um, and then you all kind of wait in a sort of a tent, and then you're let in, and it's 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 so thrilling, like. To be in the place and it, the set is amazing like it was all like and halloween is my favorite week so it was all done up for the the group dance at the start and uh, and i was only four uh, rows back and i was on the end of the aisle which if i'm ever let go again i would say to the people who organize things those things that was a mistake because i was very very close to the actual like dance floor and i mean if the urge had taken me and it nearly did because I'm a bit mad to just run onto the floor. I could have, you know, and I could have like hopped up beside Jeremy and started doing that thrillery business beside him. How are you, Jezza? You know, and dancing away with them. And I would have caused um, a national scandal. Um, but anyway, I didn't. But um, so then, so yeah, so then the actual show started and... Oh, no, 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 before the actual show started, they did another pre-record of the James Morrison man singing his song. And then during that pre-record, um, Christina and Gleb were doing a dancing. And anyway, part of the, the routine had them coming up the aisles, kind of out of shot for a little while. And so Gleb came up my aisle, stood right beside me and held his dancing pose like this, ready to leap out when the time came again. And his hand was, was here, like here to me. And so I was looking at it and I could feel the energy of all the women around me and they were all going, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. So I, I just went like this and touched his hand. And he got a fright because he was mid kind of dancing pose. And, uh, and it was very wrong of me. I invaded his space. I interrupted his art art artistic process. But anyway, he looked around and he was a bit kind of, <gasps> and uh, I said, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. And so he smiled and I'm still a bit, can't really see properly from, from the desolation of the smile, but I'm so not a him anymore. He took it very well being manhandled, pawed, pawed. I pawed him like he was an object and he smiled. Um, in fact, the whole thing is, um, I know that the rule is that we are allowed to be again between one to three people um, on the Strictly's. At the moment, I am again nobody. I am in giant love with them all. Um, giant love with Tess, who is the nicest, warmest, kindest, funniest, beautifulest creature. Claudia, who is like, she is so funny, she's dangerous. Do you know that sort of way? She's, she's, you could injure yourself from the laughing. Darcy is so elegant and so gorgeous and so kind and so funny and sort of almost unexpectedly goofy and sweet. Jeanette Manrara, sexiest creature on the planet. Um, Karen Clifton, it, they, they, and they were all, oh yeah, they all came out to do their limbering and everything before the group dance. And they obviously all did the professionals, all get on so well. And they were all messing with each other. And Jeanette Manrara was so cute and she was high-fiving people, but being all goofy and missing and being so super cute, you know. Joanne Clifton is my new, my new doll. 
I just want her. She's the dinkiest, adorablest, cutest little thing. And Aliona, mother of sweet Jesus. She is just smoking. She's just so beautiful. Um, but they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful and they all have the laugh and the crack and the messing and the carry on and everything. And so then the show started. And I can't describe to you uh, to what it's like to be there. Like, I mean, the costumes look fantastic on the television, but when you see them up close, like the luster on the fabric, like the quality, the production values are so high. Um, and then you see them doing the dance on the floor. And it just dawned on me how very difficult it is. I mean, I could see the move of every muscle. I could see the effort that went into every jump and every step. And then, you know, you could see the occasional mistake or like where a hand was meant to clasp and it missed. And it just made me think, my God, I will never be again anyone again. I have no right to criticize anyone. The courage that it takes for them to go out and dance before whatever it is, 10 million, 12 million people every week. Like it's, it's, it's humbling. Um, and then everyone else was so great, like the lads who changed the, the, the set in between each, each dance. They were so efficient and everything was set up so beautifully. The amount of imagination that goes into creating the atmosphere, the lighting, the music, even Dave Arch dressed as the, Dream, the Grim Reaper. The whole thing was just, it was, it was beyond magical. And then, I mean, it, I suppose it's no secret that the results show is, is um, recorded the same night. So we had to take a vow of, um, of not telling. Um, and so, I mean, I did tell himself. So maybe I have broken my sacred strictly oath, but I knew he wouldn't tell anyone and, and he didn't. But I had to stay off the Twitters because I was so afraid that I would blurt it out. Because you know when you're not supposed to say something, that's the very time that you go, Christy went, hi, I didn't mean to say it. But anyway. Um, so, so I got home, I mean, like you're, you're let out about half ten. Um, and yeah, it's just, it was fabulous. But I hate that anyone has to go. Um, and I can't really pick up. Oh yeah, I mean, my highlight was Jeremy's dance. I mean, you know when people say something is electrifying? Um, I literally felt energy of thrill moving through me. You know, like the shivers down the spine thing. I suppose that's some sort of electricity. Uh, it was... It was, I don't even know the word, it was, it was transcendent. He was just, you know, okay, it wasn't a great dance, but it was fabulous. It was so entertaining. Anyway, so that was Strictly. Then yesterday I was doing um, a masterclass in writing a bestseller for The Guardian. And that was really, really lovely. Um, and the people who came were incredibly responsive and very, very nice. And, uh, and now it's Monday. And, oh yeah, so I was meant to be having a photo shoot today, so I'm having it tomorrow instead. And I know having a sh photo shoot sounds incredibly glamorous. I hate having my photograph taken. I hate how I look. I mean, it's a lot easier now that I'm not such a fatso, but it's still incredibly mortifying to kind of have to give your dress size and stuff like that to a stylist. And then they come along with stuff and you think, sweet mother Jesus, I'm not getting into that, you know? And I mean, photographers, well, I don't know, it might be fun. Um, I'm told that this man is fun, which is a word that always strikes extreme dread into my heart. Um, and, you know, I've had photographers say things like, uh, you know, be sexy. And I'm like, F off. Be sexy yourself, you cheeky little feck. Um, and it, it does be a long day when you're having the photo shoots because they have to take eight million to try and get a half decent one of my very crooked face. Anyway, so um, so that's where I am. So I don't have much news on the scribe in front because uh, it all kind of went to hell in the last couple of days, well, a few days, you know, for coming over for Zoe and everything. Um, because I know I didn't get to say much on Zoe, but I had, I had tons of good things stored up. I had so many funny things for each person and I had been all swatty and written down little things. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but, um, and it was so lovely to go on. And my shoes, please forgive me. I know a lot of you have asked and don't take again me, but they were from Mew Mew and I bought them back in the summer. So I, I don't know if they're still available, um, but I bought them. In the, in the hope of doing emotional blackmail on Zoe. I kept thought, thinking if I showed her the pictures, she'd have to let me on eventually. Not that Zoe, it's not Zoe's job, God love her. We mustn't be at Zoe. And Zoe is so fabulous. She is the most warm, funny, talented, quick-witted, 
amazing women. It's all about the women. I love, I mean, they're all, the men's are nice too, but for me it's all about the women at the moment. Um, so life is nice. I'll be back home in the Emerald Isle tomorrow night. And uh, I think that's all my news. And um, thank you, thank you, and thank you. I want to get a job um, saying voiceovers in that voice. Um, if you could all make your way to the exit and thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, thank you. Hope you're well. Thank you.